100 billion dollars. Actually, I'm not joking. That's how much money the Secret Service says was stolen from COVID-19 relief programs intended to help small businesses and stolen in unemployment benefits. As of today, there are 900 active criminal investigations across the country in every single state. And if you were one of those people who fraudulently collected a PPP loan, EIDL loan, or unemployment benefits in the last few years, the Secret Service, Fraud Recovery Department, and the full force of the federal government are coming for you. And they aren't afraid to use all the tools, surveillance, personnel, whatever they need to get their money back and punish those who are responsible. The majority of the fraud came from people improperly collecting unemployment benefits. The Labor Department says $87 billion was stolen in that way. The Secret Service has seized more than $1.2 billion so far while investigating unemployment insurance and SBA loan fraud and has returned an additional $2.3 billion of fraudulently obtained funds by simply reversing the transactions. Now, those cases are on top of the the 95 criminal cases of 150 other people who are being prosecuted by the Department of Justice over $75 million in fraudulently obtained money through the Paycheck Protection Program. DOJ says those suspects were fraudulently using those pandemic funds to buy real estate and luxury items. Obviously, it can't do that. These investigations are ongoing. The CDC has just updated and shortened the isolation period from 10 days to five days for those who have asymptomatic cases of COVID-19 or who come in contact with a COVID-19 positive person. But there are some exceptions. I'll tell you about that in a second, but first. The CDC says this change comes after the science demonstrates the majority, but not all, transmission of COVID-19 occurs early in the course of the illness, generally one to two days prior to onset of symptoms and two to three days after. So to help understand this new guidance, the CDC released this if then chart. Scenario one, if you test positive for COVID-19, regardless of your vaccination status, then you should isolate by staying home for five days. If you have no symptoms or your symptoms are resolving after those five days and you no longer have a fever, you can leave your house, but you should continue to wear a well-fitting mask outside of your house for another five days. Scenario two, if you were exposed to someone with COVID-19 and you have been boosted or completed the two-shot Pfizer or Moderna vaccine within six months or the J&J &J vaccine within the last two months, then you should wear a mask around other people for 10 days and test on day five. If you develop symptoms, stay home, get a test, and go back to scenario one. Scenario three, if you were exposed to someone with COVID-19 and you are unvaccinated or not boosted, stay home for five days, and after that, continue to wear a well-fitting mask around others for another additional five days. If you can't quarantine, you must wear a well-fitting mask for 10 days, test on day five, and if you develop symptoms, stay home, get a test, and go back to scenario one.